Premium Goat Kids bring four twenty two on the hoof, and Premium Lamb brings three dollars and seventy three cents on the hoof. Are goats more profitable than sheep? I have piled up five years worth of USDA market reports and pricing to bring you the answer to that question. All right, the small ruminant market is absolutely exploding. In fact, in the past five years, goats are up 60% and sheep are up 77%. As I speak, the very last USDA market report from San Angelo, Texas reports, premium goat kids bring 422 on the hoof and premium lamb brings $3.73 on the hoof. Now with these two numbers side by side, it's often asked, are goats more profitable than sheep? In today's video, I'm gonna break down some information that might help you to determine that answer for yourself. Number one, I am going to evaluate market prices over the past five years. Number two, I will discuss management factors with respect to goats that might make them a little bit more difficult than sheep depending on where you live. And then finally, I will weigh in on the important question and that is, is this uptick in prices a bubble waiting to burst? While I do raise exclusively sheep, I called in my friend Carl Abel and we talked for one hour and 20 minutes on goats versus sheep. If you guys would like that full podcast, click on the link down below and I will email it to you absolutely free. Now the prices I am pulling from are based on San Angelo, Texas. That is the largest sheep and goat market in the United States. And while I advocate for off farm sales, unless you are selling purebred, registered, or highly specialized stock, your prices are going to really follow these USDA market prices, whether you sell off farm or at a local market. Now in October, 2017, goats outpaced sheep by about 36% at market. Now we are coming to a convergence here and that 36% has dropped down to 22% in 2022. Now just for some perspective here, if you were to take just an average regular old lamb right off the farm at 70 pounds, sell it at auction, you could expect around $205 for that lamb. Now a goat kid of the same quality and of the same weight will bring $253.40 at market. And that is based on February 2022 pricing. Now let's transition into some management factors that might actually make goats a little bit more difficult for you to raise if you are in the wrong area for goats. And number one is that goats are less parasite resistant than sheep. They are really bred for dry and arid climates. In addition to this, they metabolize dewormer at a rate that is two times that of sheep. And when you go onto most dewormer charts, you're going to see a rate for goats and a dosage rate for sheep. And the rate for goats is going to outpace sheep by about two times. Sheep prefer a diet of 50-50 pasture grass to what we call weeds or browse. And goats go for 80% browse and 20% pasture grass. Containment struggles are also escalated on the goat side and this really will not matter if you are relying just on hard fencing. The hard fencing for sheep and the hard fencing for goats are about the same. But if you are in a rotational grazing program that is fairly intensive and you are trying to pressure these animals and contain them with electric fencing, it may be a little bit more difficult with goats than sheep if you can believe it. The bottom line of all of this comparison is that if you are in a low rainfall area and you have good fencing in place, goats will indeed be a more profitable option for you. But if you are in a subtropical region with 46 plus inches of rain annually, you're going to probably eat up that additional 22% in revenues through parasite management and all of the other management that is involved in controlling that animal in a very wet area. When it comes to management for sheep and goats, the infrastructure and a lot of what you'll put in for sheep is what you'll put in for goats as well. In fact, here I want to mention another free resource that is available in the description box below, and it is a free ebook called 13 Things You Need to Start a Sheep Farm. And a lot of the infrastructure and management mentioned in that book will also apply to starting a goat farm. Now, another point I want to touch on is just the growth rate. And the growth rate for goats is just a little bit slower than it is for sheep. So if we're talking that 70 pound animal that you are taking to market, it may take you about seven months to reach that 70 pounds with a goat on grass and sheep will hit that at about four to five months. So you've got to kind of factor that in to your overall plan. One other management factor that varies between sheep and goats is that goats do require a significant amount of copper in their diet to survive, and sheep, it's actually lethal for them to have too much copper. So if you are running a mixed herd, you do not want to feed 
goat minerals to sheep. You want to pull those goats aside. And what most people do is they administer a copper bolus for that extra copper content in the goat's diet. And now is a question that we need to evaluate as we evaluate prices and try to determine what the best enterprise is for us. And that is, will sheep and goat prices hold out? And I have five reasons why I believe yes in the long term. While we may see a dip from these extremely high prices we're at right now, I believe overall there are several different factors that are driving the sheep and goat market. And number one is this, that sheep and goats are among the only unregulated commodities in the United States. Beef prices are manipulated by both political and social factors. If you guys want some insight on those, click on the links down below to my two previous videos. Grain prices are suppressed by subsidies, and we truly do not know the true cost of grain in the United States. But sheep and goats being purchased in today's market head straight to the plate, either through private processing streams or by being purchased by ethnic communities who take them straight into the food system. Number two, and this may be more food for thought than fact, but I believe that sheep and goats directly reflect the inflation that we are seeing. And as the dollar weakens, things of true value will become more valuable. And being that, sheep and goats do not have the subsidies or the political and social suppression that these other sectors do, I kind of believe that this market is reflecting the inflation that we're seeing over the past couple of years. Number three is that sheep and goats are an excellent drought plan. And with the United States drying up, sheep and goat producers are absolutely flourishing. In fact, sheep and goats can float a ranch when most of the larger cattle needs to be destocked. They eat weeds and forage that typically pops up during drought times. They thrive on less water and their feed conversion is double that of larger cattle, meaning it takes less forage to sustain the same amount of animal. Number four is something that was pointed out by my friend Carl Abel, and I'm just going to roll his feedback on this topic. Because I really feel this last year, two years, the price jump that we've seen almost another dollar per pound yeah. in price is coming because everybody, because of some of the unsettling things that we've been through, what do you do when you don't feel safe? Yeah. You seek familiarity. You seek tradition. You seek what you know. And food is at the basis of that. That's true. And number five is that small ruminants, sheep, and goats are simply hard to raise. Every sheep and goat producer that I have known has had a tough learning curve to surpass. Some may tell you otherwise, citing low maintenance sheep, but to be honest, this is a much more difficult set of animals than a larger beef cattle. For this reason, competition is a little more scarce and established operations are a little bit harder to find, which is a great thing for people willing to commit to that learning curve and producers that are already established. In addition to encouraging you to watch this video next, I want to give a shout out to the channel Rolling O Farms, where they raise sheep and goats side by side. Tons of practical videos over there that I am sure you will enjoy.